Why hello there you sexy beast, I am Vatiwa and welcome back to another episode of Boobs and Lubes Skyrim Mods. Now in this series we take a look at the most fantastic and the most eye-catching of mods out there. And since the last episode I kinda got tired of my mini wives always fighting and always causing a ruckus in my little cabin. So I decided to go on an adventure all by myself and since it's a new day we are going to need a a new armor. Valkyria Armor by Jacka is one of the most extravagant and outrageous armor mod that you can install. The gold, sky blue, and pure white colors has this out of this world, godly, and pure feeling to it. The wings, as elegant and pretty as it looks, must be pretty clumsy and knock things over all the time, but luckily, there is no collision or hitbox for it. The armor can be obtained by going to the Western Watchtower and then heading north-northwest to find a monster called the Valkyria Killer. Now this low texture ugly motherfucker is relatively hard to kill. She likes to scoot away when you try to melee her and once she's down you can desecrate her body. You can find all 6 pieces of the Valkyria armor off of her. We will need some new weapons because Skywind weapons like the armor kinda disintegrates after one day of use. Bishu Osafune Ju Molikage Katana and Tachi by China is a set of two swords. The two swords are craftable at a forge under the steel section and the Katana and Tachi both uses the same sword models. However, they are two different types of swords. The Tachi is a great sword while the Katana is just a sword. The handguard is definitely one of the most detailed part of the sword. It kinda looks like there is a red skinned fellow kind of enjoying some tea and crumpets. And then suddenly, a blue skinned asshole with a giant drill for an arm. <laughs> came to mess things up. There is also another set of weapons called Fudu Biu Katana and Tachi by China YKK Moro Cat. It is another Katana and Tachi set, however the base of the sword, the handguard and the grip is different and it also deals higher damage. And again it looks like the handguard is the most detailed part of the sword. It looks like there is some kind of a person riding on top of a dragon, kinda like how Goku rides on Shenron in uh, Dragon Ball. Now let's test these weapons on the most dangerous inhabitants of all of Skyrim, the deadly slaughterfish. We are going to be testing one of the two katanas because the two have the same animations and they kind of look similar anyways. This is the first person view of our impending doom with the katana. Third person. Now we are going to be testing one of the two tachis and this is the first person view of this epic epic fight. Third person. Alright, you got me. I just wanted to kill Slaughterfish because I wanted some Slaughterfish sushi. Mmm. Okay, so let's find us a follower in Riverwood to make us some Slaughterfish sushi. In Riverwood, we can find what Murai, the girl want? with the dragon heart by Kalai DX. She can be found in or around her home, just north of Riverwood, in or around Riverwood Inn, and the pathway in between the house and the inn. To make her your follower, you gotta woo her. Do you bother everyone this much? Only pretty girls like yourself. <laughs> Wanna go somewhere? Ha diggity! I thought you'd never ask! I'm just kidding guys, all you gotta do is ask her to follow what? you. <laughs> Ready when you are. So she usually Happy uses size. mostly ice Ready skills step. and she has a knife for close range combat and she can summon some kind of a ghostly ice wolf 
thing. The story behind Mira is that she is a Brenton mage who lived a shelter life, but then because of some circumstances, she became alone and she became cold, no pun intended, to other people. I think we are all tired of looking at these large, motionless, static wings, so let's get something better! Animated Wings by Anton Now before we take a closer look at this mod, the flying mod Beta by Pora one is a highly recommended mod that you should use in conjunction with the animated Dragon Wings. Now the only thing you need to know about this mod is that it will make your followers and yourself fly! Isn't that awesome? Now there are many wings to choose from from the animated Dragon Wings mod, and to get the wings you must make the potions at a cooking pot under the miscellaneous section. And each Dragon Wing will require slightly different ingredients, so prepare to gather them and to get some extra for some spare potions. Now enjoy as we fap, I mean flap, our wings in the sky. To get rid of the wings, you drink the loose dragon wings potion and your wings are gone. Let's slip into something more comfortable so we can become ninjas and do ninja things. Ha! Sexy Jutsu! <laughs> Hi, Sasuke! Midnight Breed Armor CBBE UNP 7B Modular by Stealthic. Hell, even the name of the person who made this mod kind of implies ninja-ness. The Midnight Breed Armor can be crafted at a workbench under the leather category, or you could hack it in with the command council. The 4K texture is quite splendid, from the little baggies carrying all of our victims' ears to our laced up corset. Nothing can stop us now. I think we should test our character's agility by uh, finding something to fight. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck did that dog come from? Holy moly, okay run. Run! Evade that shit, Badiwa! Okay guys, uh, okay, is he behind me? Is he behind me? Oh yes he is, he's uh, nipping at my butt. Okay, keep going. Evade his ass. Oh yes, use your ninja proudness. Oh, he got us. Oh boy. Oh, oh, stop it. Stop it! You guys saw it. It was self-defense. Alright, with that test out of the way, let's test our ninja stealthness on the most alert of all enemies.
Yeah, your bovine skills couldn't help you. <laughs> what now? I think we should give our Valkyria armor to Mirai. I think she will look uh, better in it. See? How <laughs> pretty. Oh, except her nipples are showing. This is what you get for trying to give a armor that is made for CBBE to a character that uses a UNP body. Basically, there are some incompatibilities. But still, she looks pretty damn good in it. Now that we have one less cow farting into the air, we can fly, fly, fly! I hope you sexy beasts enjoyed this video, and if it did tickle your fancy, please leave a like, comment on which dragon wings you like the most, and subscribe! Until next time, stay sexy, my friends. Yeah.